bullshit, dude. They hit you with like a fucking nasty stream. Yeah, super soaker. It is. A, it's Pumped. a fucking backpack super Pumped soaker. big time. In the face. And everyone's going, <laughs> dork. <laughs> you just got clowned by <laughs> nothing. Matt, what about the one that like gave away the food? He was like, fuck this. Oh, yeah, yeah. They were feeding him. Well, a little star- well, starving. Well, they're used to eating like the freshest scallops. So yeah. they give them like thawed out. They actually were fucking, weirdly enough, were giving them squid. Yeah. And they're giving the octopus. Well, they will eat other octopuses, but they hit them with like like thawed squid. And like at first, the octopuses are like, nah, bro, like miss me with this. Yeah. And then like, like the guy, some of them would eat it. And there's one guy who was like looking at the researcher, grabbed the squid in a tentacle and was still looking at him and just put it to the outflow and let it just get sucked up and fly out. And he was like, try again, bro. Give me something fresh. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty sick. That's wild. That's wild how smart they are. They're smart as fuck. It's 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 cool. Obviously, when a mammal like if a mammal, if like a dolphin's doing something smart, I'm like yeah. obviously chordates. Obviously, but when it's something like it's some sack of shit, they're like just a, a fucking freak. Yeah, color changing. I actually don't like them. I cut now. I like them. I still think they're fucking disgusting. <laughs> they are nasty. I hate them, dude. They try to bring you into their lair. They like yeah. look you in the eye and go, "Come here." Yeah. Come here. Just come between these rocks. I'm going to fucking eat you. Yeah. They have beaks, too. Yeah, they got that little thing on there. I didn't know they had bird. I yeah. knew nothing of them. Yeah, I don't like them. I'm a fan. I'm like a do fan. away with them, especially after I watched that freak swim down and hang out with it. Yeah. I didn't like that. Well, they wrestle, too. Really? An octopus will be just laying in a den, and a bigger octopus will come up and just go, swap, swap, and they'll come out and be like, blah, 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 and yeah, they'll start yeah. fighting each other. Everything you. you're describing, I like. I was indifferent to them. Now I know that they wrestle. They play with objects. I do know that, the, again, I watched the that documentary about the guy doing this. Chilling with them. But even then, I was watching it, and I was like, I really don't. Yeah, you don't care for them. Does it know what it's doing, kind of? They can't I see. They can't think. prove. They can't prove. The fact that it pl- they play, That's they're saying yeah. it has the consciousness of like a dog, basically. Yeah. It's like they can play. They'll like They'll make use of things that aren't food. That's like. Leaps and above yeah, pretty much every single creature. They will try to eat everything you give it, though. They'll go almost. Oh, I'm pause. close. A fucking oh, and go. Hmm, no, I'm close to that. What? I'm not far from that <laughs> yeah, level of like. <laughs> <laughs> that's all we do. We will play with stuff and be like, "Was I being annoying?" That's the la- That's the only other step yeah. we have. Like, was I being fucking annoying? Did everybody hate that I was playing? <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I play too much. <laughs> I fucking play too much. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like people playing games with my stuff. That would be fun to hear a voice, and that was the only voice you heard in your head. It's like shit, 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 motherfucker. You, you don't even know these motherfuckers. A lot of some people have that. That's yeah, true. That is their internal monologue. <laughs> it's true. Like no cat, let's go. <laughs> you know what I mean? Think if you were <laughs> how much would you, you were pay? Amigos, that's your internal monologue. How much would you pay though? To I wonder like if Migos has that as their internal monologue. R.I.P. Obviously, but yeah, well, one of them. Probably. Yeah. Just like R.I.P. R.I.P. Oast, the Migos. Like you say something, I'm like, yeah, octopuses are cool. It's like, cool. <laughs> <laughs> so cool. <laughs> Most it's got to be close. It's got to be close. <laughs> Several buds. They have <laughs> Got a beak. Squid. Ink. Ink. Yeah, I'd like to hear yeah. I, yeah. I would like that. I'd like to get in there. Just, I would. I would pay, if you could pay money to have like, Someone alter like when like Elon Musk talks about doing like the Neuralink. Yeah, like the GPS where you voice just system. Just have like a hype man. You can put a hype man in your head. <gasps> You're the motherfucking. You work out like I am the motherfucking shit. Yeah. Come on, boy. You fucking. You come on. Or I would I would try to get the upgrade where it would be like, uh, like Coach Carter. I get a Coach Carter on my head. Like, come on, what are you throwing your life away, bro? You're throwing your life away. You need it. I'm like, shit. Get in the gym. Sprints. Dude. Suicides to throw. I like this ten hours yeah. a day. <laughs> You're never going to tell me Coach, what to do, Coach Carter. Okay, I'm going to go hang out with my girlfriend. I don't need what this. Are you crazy, boy? Like, You're right, Coach Carter. I got to go. Coach Carter, I'll <laughs> practice free throws. We need to win districts. You're right. I'll listen to my set from two weeks ago and take notes. <laughs> <laughs> All set. That'd be kind of, that's, that's, unf- that's an unfair advantage. What? To have that, although, dude, having I mean, a cool man, black guy hype man turn against you, be like, you ain't shit. You ain't nothing but a fucking fool. <laughs> <laughs> that would do some damage. That would hurt. Punk ass. I think if you got stuck with black ass. lady in your head. Well, I don't have to think that. <laughs> I didn't want to say it. <laughs> it was a little alley oop, so we could breach this topic. <laughs> That's a tough internal monologue. They can go. They can hit you with ain't shit. 
That's like a you ain't shit. <laughs> they'll get inside your head. Your with daddy you. ain't shit. Yep. Yeah. They'll get you ain't shit. That's a fucking. That's a fucking jab. I am shit. You you penetrate it. I'm actually shit. I'm I am, I'm more than shit. I'm a king. <laughs> yeah. I'm the shit king. <laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> but we can get in there. We can hit them with. We can. In, we can get white white dialogue going in there. Yeah. Little fucking watch it. <laughs> watch it, Buckaroo. You're on thin ice, partner. <laughs> That'd be awesome if that was in Migo's head at all times. <laughs> watch it, pal. We could get Jordan Peterson in their head. Yeah. It's reprehensible. <laughs> I need to go buy another mail purse and put $40,000 in it. We need to go buy the entire store right now. <laughs> You're bloody spending too much money. <laughs> it's a totally domination hierarchy. Entirely reprehensible behavior. <laughs> what you've done is bloody wrong. <laughs> it's wrong. <laughs> Yo, shut this shit off, man. Yo, gonna... turn off this Jordan Peterson <laughs> shit. <laughs> JP. <laughs> yeah, DMX's internal monologue must have oh been fucking my nuts. God, dude. It's definitely like, kill that guy. Yeah. I'm only going to smoke a little bit of crack today. That guy's gay. <laughs> I don't fuck with homos. Yeah. Damn, him smoking crack must have been nuts. Yeah. I'd pay for that. If I could simulate, if I could do like stimulate DMX smoking crack, go full. That'd be awesome. Oh, like to feel what that feels like? Yeah. To be I'm DMX on as- crack? That was his idea, dude. You put coolest. 40 guys on dirt bikes in a video and just bark at a camera with yeah. a cool chain on. Dude, wearing a dog chain and smoking crack in a wife beater. Tell would be a pit bull screaming at a camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. That yes. came out of the primordial soup. That definitely did, dude. Took 17 million years from a little fucking bug to turn into DMX. Be like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I was bugging out the whole way up thinking about the soup and just being like, Jesus fucking Christ, this is so terrifying. Dude, when people, there was a period where everyone was just flat worms. It's like, there's enough food for everyone, let's chill. And then somehow a predator formed, and you're like, what the fuck is this? You had to hide under shells and shit. Yeah. The Cambrian, I mean, the Cambrian explosion was unbelievable. That's all I think about. The Cambrian period. I think about Cam, I I can't get my mind off Cambria. (laughs) Dude, the Cambrian period is nothing to sneeze at. You like those little Nautilus guys, whatever those Yeah, dude. Are? Nautilus yeah. is, they get sleeped on big time. They also use propulsion technology. You're tapping in. I know a lot of this. Is, I know. I know you'd be excited. It's in there. The Nautilus <laughs> is in there, dude. The fucking. People sleep on the Nautilus. They're the one, they're the few to remain from that. I, when I'm in the water, I try to, I, I do emulate that. True propulsion? <laughs> 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 I go, everybody watch. That's, 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 that's what I kept laughing at because when the other, when the weaker octopuses get bullied, they like, once they lose, they just pulse away. They fucking just go, fuck this. Fuck you guys. <laughs> that was rude. <laughs> they just blast off, dude. <laughs> yeah, blasting off the shit, dude. Why are you guys fucking stop fucking funny? And then they leave ink. Don't octopuses ink too? Squid. 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 Yeah. squid. Although, look that up. I, 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 I'm I with you. I'm squid. with you. I think they can dish out a little little cloud of ink. I hope they can. But they can fucking change colors too, which is crazy. Yeah. That's that's what freaks me out when it's like octopuses will hit. They'll make they'll light their bodies up in the depths of the ocean just so like they because if the moonlight hits them, if it filters through the water, hits them, it'll cast a shadow and then predators can go fuck the octopus up. So octopuses will light their own bodies up so the moonlight doesn't cast a shadow. But it's like, how can a cell create light? Like, it makes no sense. I don't. That's like, a lightning bug. That's what I'm saying. Don't you ask that yeah, but they're at least bug. maybe soaking in a little bit of light. But like a cell in the bottom of the ocean can just go and just make light. Like, bro, I guess they're just burning calories. Yeah, just lighting it up. I have no clue what's going on. I don't. I want you to answer the question of bioluminescence now <laughs> yeah, for the people. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, Matt. Shit's so fucking cool. I'll figure it out, though. True. Yeah, can you guys look up how bioluminescence works and settle this once and for yeah. all? That shit's so fucking sick, dude. I'm yeah. done wondering. Changing colors. I did find that all cephalopods produce ink. They do produce ink. Mm-hmm. Thank God. Cuttlefish, octopus. Thank God. I was Spoon. worried about that. I need to get to the bottom of this octopi, octopuses. 
Oh, that's the, true. Yeah, that's we need to know that as well. Why did I always think it was octopi? So did I, dude. I was standing corrected the whole time. I was waiting for. Me I don't think we've octopi. been corrected. I'm standing my ground on this. Could, I think could, it's. I think people say it both ways. You might, might be, be onto some of the British. Yeah, yeah they're tomato. both accepted. Both, both accepted. accepted. Yeah, octopi. Although I, I'm now. I am an octopus's guy. Well, I mean, if you've heard the scholars, it's just one guy. He might oh. be a renegade scholar, though. He might be IDW. He might be intellectual dark web. I mean, any yeah. What's the name of the book? Uh, I don't know. I read it already. Other Minds. Star other Minds? Know. He might be another mind, dude. Yeah, he might be an octopus dressed up. Octopus. He might Steve. change colors into a dude. <laughs> he's lying. Yeah, I can't wait to get further into the book, dude. Because from now, he's just hitting me with cool octopus facts. Matt, let's talk about those shoes real, real quick. And then back to the minds. octopus. This is very octopus-like of me, though. It is. Very sleek. That's what I'm talking about. Dude, honestly... I might be, I, I think sneakers might be kind of a fucking sham. Yeah. I don't, I don't think you, I think you're supposed to just be walking around like this is actually probably a little too much. You're saying barefoot. The, the I was way. lifting in Hocus and someone was like, yo, just so you know, that's not the shoe. Those shoes are like bad for you to do deadlifts in. Yeah. Cause there's much so room. much cushion. Yeah, yeah. You're kind of leaning your body forward. I think shoes are fucked up, man. I think they've got shoes wrong. I fully hyperextended my knees deadlifting yesterday. Did you really? Yeah. What were you rocking? Regular sneakers. No, like training trainers. But I was like, all right, we're done. Yeah. I was like, while I was lifting, I was like, oh, I'm going to blow my knees out. Yeah, dude. Why am I? Why would I do this? You got to keep it light. Yeah. I keep it light and it feels great. No, I mean, it, it was, I'm ha I, I felt good. That you did it. Yeah. You felt, but what about your knees? I was concerned for a moment. And he was like, yeah, because I, I just extended my knees too fast before, before I lifted. So I, it, Going up, I extended first, and then, uh, yeah, damn. I was too Although, if you wheelchaired yourself, if you like Ronnie Coleman yourself, dude, wheelchair comedian would be nasty. Did you ever encounter a wheelchair comedian? Yes, we had a guy that used to do oh, wheelies. Yeah. Michael Air, wheelchair comedy. Yeah, he was funny. That's he awesome. Away. He died. He was in the full. He had ALS. What did he have? He had something very, very shitty. God damn! But he would come on, and we would he he would do kill Tony. Oh yeah, carry yeah, yeah, him yeah, on yeah, yeah, yeah. And he would talk shit. That's awesome. He was fucking funny. Yeah, that's pretty sick. Damn, he had like a full on. He was he was he had. There's videos online of him before. He's just one of the totally normal. Yeah. And then it just fucking yeah, it sucks. Yeah, losing capability of your body yeah. and mind. Think about it all the time. And I think I'm, his mind was fine, but he just couldn't. Oh, the his mind mind's totally fine, sharper than ever. But you can't. You lose control of all your oh, muscles. That sucks. Dude. Including your, you can't talk. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, you can't talk either. Because that's muscles and shit. That's oh man. That's doctor stuff. Because that's muscles, muscles and shit. And shit. <laughs> hey, shit. <laughs> you know your tongue's the strongest muscle in your body, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously. Bro. My girl found that out. Man. <laughs> 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 that's how i do it how do they come up with that <laughs> how do they come up with that fact though it's how do they say it's a, i guess it's like the most used some fucking dickhead scientist yeah, was that's like bullshit. it's actually the strongest per cat it's like shut yeah, the dude, fuck up dude tell that to my fucking quads tell you my quads would destroy my tongue yeah what if you actually like t tested it out and you're like oh shit you couldn't move <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> we just gotta bust facts on this dude might be fact what? Wow, wow, Wes. Make sure that camera's on. Yo, my freaking wow. gosh, dude. Now it's time for just us. Yeah, dude. true. Now we can let our hair down and relax. Yeah. Just chill with our boys. Boys so, time. Bro, welcome to the fucking inner circle, Warriors. <laughs> 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 dude, the videos you sent me of that guy oh, the, are the best. Oh, my God. Online sales warrior. Online, like, class, tribe. It's been a thing going on for a while. I've had my eye on that for a long time. Now that that industry is reaching like a fever pitch of just like, do you know who your real fucking boys are? Yeah. Do you do, you, do you steroids with a guy from online? <laughs> Dude, <laughs> how, many cars, how many cars do you sell a month? 24? What if somebody kidnapped your kids and said, <laughs> we're going to kill them unless you sell 50 cars. Would you sell 50 cars? The guy's like, I... I guess. Why aren't you selling fifty cars? Does that make sense? <laughs> like, Did you see the one? What we are did, you talking about? We did life insurance. He goes, pitch me in thirty seconds or less. And the guy's like, um, life insurance is a very important. He goes, I, I, no, I'm out. Not. How about this? Do you care if if you died? Would you want your kids to struggle? Okay, then. Yeah. 
So how about 130 bucks a month with that? And he's like, let's sign the papers right now. That's how you do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so the, the guys I feel bad for are the guys in the sales meeting. Yeah. So that's just your manager is a hard ass. That's like, there's a guy I need you to see. And you're just a fucking, you're a car yeah. salesman, dude. You're like, dude, I, the best part of my day is walking across the street to the gas station <laughs> to get a fucking turkey sandwich. I hate this. And then <laughs> your hard ass manager is like, we got to watch this guy. He pulls you on stage. Yeah. He's like, what if I kidnapped your kids and said I'd fucking kill them if you don't sell 50 cars? My dick's an inch from your wife's pussy. Yeah, what are you going to do about it? <laughs> sell me on your wife's pussy. Go. Like, oh, man. It's actually pretty but good. But then they, they, those videos, they make those reels, and there's like salesmen like, I can close on anybody. Yeah. I have no ego. Yeah, it's uh, it'd be so embarrassing. Because, yeah, you know, that guy's, half the guys in there, they're not going to be in car sales. They're going to switch to the big dogs, which is window salesmen. True. That's when you move up. True. And windows by Anderson. <sighs> you're out of the Honda game. You're into the Windows by Anderson. That's a good move, actually. Yeah. Now you're making 500, 600K a fucking year, dude. <sighs> Ripping off dumb old people. Yeah, true. Like, your windows <laughs> aren't up to code. Yeah. Do you also want a wheelchair? Oh, dear. <laughs> Yeah, that's a that's that. You're thing gonna they, fucking freeze to death. Does that make sense? <laughs> they talk about that, like how things fill like a religious void in people. That's the vacuum, dude. Just like oh, I will do that. Yeah, I will not take no for an answer. That's the. Way, I mean, if that guy immediately approached me with like a firm handshake and was like, "Let me tell you something," I'd be like, "Dude, what are you fucking thinking? <laughs> I'm here to buy a Honda." You get me, dude. I'd be like. <laughs> I will buy this car. Yeah, there is that, a salesman like that, especially the way he like seems to be like. Does that make sense? Would that if if are you not worried about your family? I'd be like, I worry about my family. Yeah, true. Yeah, huh? Yeah. If a like, jacked guy with huge nipples was like, "You're the man," I'd be like, "Yeah, I guess I am. Well, I'll the, buy the whatever problem, you say." The buzz all they run into are just women. Like a lady can be like, "I'll talk to somebody else." You're being pushy. That's tough. Yeah. But you, you can also, that's actually, no, I, I take that back. Cause you could be I like, was going to say, women are usually the ones. Flatter them. They bring men with them. Yeah, true. Because it's usually, well, that's actually probably not their choice. They drive, no, women like, drive women major will come purchases. In girls will try to buy a car and they'll be like, my dad is here. Yeah. That's definitely their dad being like, I'm going, you're not getting ripped off by some sleaze ball. Yeah. Yeah. Guys like, do you love your daughter, sir? Yeah. What if she crashes and <laughs> yeah. dies? If you're gonna avoid that for an extra seventy nine dollars, you want month, the roll bar on the top. Would you do it? Yes or no? Answer the question. Yeah. Yes, I'd obviously want to avoid. Yeah, my I want my wife to not be mangled. Then you need to sign up for our warranty program. Yeah. Do you want your wife looking like a fat dog? <laughs> no, you're gonna want wax. You're gonna want wax on this car. Otherwise, she's gonna look like a fat fucking dog. <laughs> All right. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> do you want other guys to look at your wife and want to fuck her? I know I do. I don't want to be dating a fat pig. <laughs> Is your wife a fat pig? Yes or no? No. no. So you're getting the wax. <laughs> like, all right. Let me put it that I way. Guess I, I guess I get the protection so. plan wax. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is. Uh, that it really is, though. I, I've been noticing that. I think Wes Watson has his program up and running. Yeah. I think Chet. I think oh, yeah. You were big on Wes early. He was very. Yeah, that was a very. But he's, his shit's nuts now. Yeah, it, it, all his videos now are just like drone footage of a mansion and him just being like, what the fuck? <laughs> and they're just like dudes doing jumping jacks on a tennis court being like, this is our new life now. Oh. I met this guy on YouTube. Screaming in a mansion is fucking awesome. <laughs> so sick, drone dude. footage of you just like, ah, ah. <laughs> just him get out of Maybachs. I did it. And just him getting out of Maybachs and just like yeah. walking into restaurants. That's his video. They're all fucking, what's his <laughs> name? They're all Rex Quando. They're all Rex Quando. <laughs> Do you think I'm a loser because I go home to Starlight at night? <laughs> It's so fucking funny. Yeah. They have jacked wives, dude. Their wives are jacked. <laughs> you need a jacked wife. Jacked. You need to get a jacked <laughs> wife. Or one with humongous fake tits. Yeah. You got a hot wife. That's part of that business model is you got to be hot wife in an Instagram model lady. Constantly. Jacked wife is rough, dude. <laughs> jacked <laughs> wife is immediately like, oh, gross, dude. Because, <laughs> yeah. I don't want to shit on a guy's wife because that guy rules. Unless, no, unless it's a, I mean, if it's a business thing, totally get But it. that's Starla. They all date Starla. You think I'm a loser because I go home to Starla? 
<laughs> oh fuck, dude. Fuck, man. That's, that's a- just I, I empathize with those poor salesmen in those meetings. Yeah. That's just I can't imagine. Yeah, I can't, man, dude. I would if I was in that. I'd be howling, fucking laughing. It's if a jack dude, if a jack <laughs> dude came in to my fucking car sales meeting. Was like, I, are you are you working as hard as you can? I'd be like, no, I shit. No. I've been shitting. I've hemorrhoids because I shit for an hour every day. I read books all day. Yeah, I I, uh, I email my ex girlfriend all day. Dude, <laughs> That's all I do. I used to get a, I I worked at a company where the guy would put on the Wolf of Wall Street headset and be like. We're at three hundred fifty thousand dollars this month, and that's down from. And I would sit there and just be like, "Dude, this is so fucking insulting." I make five hundred dollars oh. a week, and you're sitting here being like, "I only made four hundred fifty thousand yeah. dollars." I'm like, "Dude, okay, yeah. I'm not. You're not captivating me whatsoever. Fuck you <laughs> you got to do the most." And it's like I want to do the least. Yeah. I want to do the least and still get my little paycheck. If I wanted to do the most, I wouldn't be here. Yeah. If I did the most my whole life, I wouldn't be. Well, dude. Now offices are just, I've noticed now, the only office I go to anymore is just Barstool. <laughs> it's yeah. just dudes walking around with laptops. You just walk around with a laptop in an office now, and like I don't think anyone does anything. No. I think you walk with a laptop and like sit down and eat your lunch, and you pick your laptop back up and carry it upstairs. Everyone's you go fake. <laughs> Everyone's <laughs> fake working. I know, dude. All I did at every job, I just was like, I got to pretend I'm doing what they told me to do. Yeah. I'm just trying to Google. Yeah. Oh man, when they locked computers, that was the worst. What do you mean? They would do, they would monitor what uh, you were looking at. And I was on Sporkle all day. What's it was Sporkle? A, it's the shit, dude. When <laughs> you're at work, it's the best. <laughs> what is it? It's a website where it's just like, can you name the X amount of countries? Can you name That's the rivers sick. in this? Yeah, all day. I'd just sit there. <laughs> it's so fucking fun. It is funny to not work and be like, I got to memorize all the rivers. I need to memorize the rivers in Europe. <laughs> Speaking of geography, dude, I watched uh, watch a good one, dude. There's a movie on Netflix called 13 Peaks or something, 12, I forget. This guy climbs the 13 highest mountains in four months. What? Mountain climbing is the dumbest. It's the dumbest. <sighs> yeah, not for me. I And I feel shitty about it because the, the people are dying. And I have no, almost I, no. I'd climb sympathy. a mountain just a munch. What do you mean? Another person. Oh, <laughs> I would just wait, oh, dude. Yeah, yeah. Like, you can find them up there. <laughs> they're still up there. You can watch. There's dudes up there. You can just, you can fucking. <laughs> they're frozen. Yeah, they're BJ's. Thaw yeah, out. <laughs> there's little free samples up there. I would get like three quarters of the way up this fucking. Yeah, a little Tenzing you Norgay. Munch someone, dude. You get some British explorer from the 20s. You're like, let me taste that. <laughs> That's vintage. <laughs> <laughs> Sir Edmund some... Hillary's <sighs> buried up there. I will say, thawing out like a Swedish dude from 1920s leg, it's probably delicious. It's probably dude. delicious. So clean. But yeah, the, the mountain, it's the scariest videos. Dude. It's the scariest videos I've ever seen. Yeah. They're just, it, it, it's I, howling wind and snow. Up a straight wall above the clouds. I want to do it's one. Terrifying. I want to do a documentary of dudes coming down. Like they're at the peak and it yeah. starts and it's just them coming down. And then they're like next two weeks of them being like, it's not as cool as I thought it would well, be. It's time for me to tell everybody. <laughs> <laughs> now the hard part. It would be telling funny. Telling every get- single person <laughs> I meet. Keeping <laughs> <laughs> be people involved in mountain conversations. Yeah. Yeah, I would how, love to how watch. How am I going to steer this conversation to mountains? Love to see someone get to the top and go, yeah. Great. Cool. Yeah. It's not as cool as I thought it would Son be. Son of a bitch. Just now going, I got to go down. Just fucking crying silently <laughs> on a gondola on the way down. Yeah. Like, did a lot of fucking work. Spent a lot of money on my gear. I thought it'd be a lot more Fucking pale. ruined. What am I going to do with these <laughs> goddamn boots? <laughs> His wife cucked him while he was up there. Definitely. He just sees from the top. He's like, is my wife blowing someone? My wife's on? fucking a guy. <laughs> he sees his house. He's like, my wife's sucking. Sherpa's something. carrying his fat wife on. <laughs> <laughs> I brought your wife up here. Is that leader of a YouTube fucking tribal academy <laughs> fucking my wife right now? <laughs> I should have joined. <laughs> I fucked you. You were climbing mountains. I was fucking your wife. <laughs> you should have been selling certified used pre-owned cars. Dude. Oh, man. Get some certifieds. They, yeah, uh, I mean, it's, it is They fun. got hit with an avalanche. There's one about the avalanche. There was an avalanche that killed a bunch of these guys. What? It's terrifying, dude. There was an earthquake in Nepal. Uh, and so it's showing the climbers that were in, they were on Everest when an earthquake hit. 
It's so scary, dude. That's, is that the There's worst place? Is it the worst place? Oh, it's the avalanche. The size yeah. of the sky. It blocks out the... It's the whole mountain fell off. Oh. It's so scary. And they were on that? There, there's a peop, there were people up there that some of them just... Yeah, they got swept away. Damn. But there were people in the base camp filming, and you see an avalanche, the biggest avalanche possible. Did anyone... Shred it down, shred Nara down. Some people shred it. <laughs> I would imagine people were like, oh, I would keep pot. a trash can lid with me at all times if I was climbing, just in case, so I could shred it all the way down. Oh, you? I thought you were talking about sled. Captain America, <laughs> <in> a, <laughs> a fucking avalanche. I would sled it. No, nah, I'd work. I'd let. I'd use the force of nature. I sled to the bottom. I've watched. Did I tell you about the? <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> yeah. There's a plastic lid crumples in around me. Uh, did I tell you about the volcano one? No. I, I watched two recently about people. There was one about people in this. Uh, they went to check out a volcano, and it goes off while they're there. Dude, a lot of people. But Will, there's a genre of shows now with like Will Smith had his one, Chris yeah. Hemsworth had his one. We're yeah. like, we're gonna push ourselves to our limits, and he just like peeks into a volcano. Yeah, you're like, dude, what, why are you doing this? There's some people push themselves to the limit on the one I watched. Oh, they died. The volcano goes off. Why are they doing it? Dude erupts while they're there, and there's a guy like taking pictures, and he's like, "Is it supposed to look like that?" The tour guide's like, "Run!" <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> yeah, it's uh, really. I mean, that one's pretty sad because that's like, yeah, that's just normal people were like on a cruise, and they were like, "Yeah, I guess you can go look at a volcano. That'll be neat." Yeah, the Mount Everest one. There's a little less. There's a little less sympathy. Yeah, they were there. Like, although if you walk into a volcano and it goes off. It might be that might be nature's way of just reclaiming psychos, dude. It's a guy like I need to get. It's not enough to dominate the financial yeah. industry. I gotta climb to the top of this fucking mountain. <laughs> <laughs> the earth just like yomp. yeah, yeah. Come here, buddy. You yeah. can't be out here. <laughs> Yoink, yoinks him. I need yeah. to dominate all of nature. It's time for me to dominate nature. <laughs> Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, that's a lot of fucking snow. <laughs> that's so much nature. <laughs> yeah, it's the scariest shit. The Mount Everest, the videos are the scariest. Uh, yeah, I like. How about a nice hike, dude? You can go to the Poconos. Just go to a hike, dude. You're hiking the Poconos, it's you know it's some steep fucking. You can get up there. Poconos are scary. Yeah, man, you can climb up, fucking dr- or drive up, climb down, whatever you want to yeah. do. The guy who does the 14 Peaks is a monster. That is. It's him and his team of dudes from Nepal. So they're like, nobody gives us credit. It's always the white dudes. We're the ones carrying all the shit. Oh. They're like, here's us doing it. Damn, so they do it all the time. Yeah. So like, this is how it's done. Yeah. And they're Jesus. going up. Like, They get to one base camp. Everyone's like, we can't, you can't go up there. It's too dangerous. They're like, like what are you guys pussies? We're going up. Do yeah. they get fucked up? Uh, they get fucked. They find a guy dies. Oh, no. Every the, the first two summits they reach, there's just a dude up there already. Like, help, help, dude! You guys gotta fucking help me out. I'll give you a billion dollars. I fucked dollars. up, dude. Help! God damn it, that stinks. Yeah, it's almost it's similar to the submarine where it's like, don't get me wrong, that's sad. Yeah, but there's a part of you like, well, don't go to the bottom of the ocean. Yeah, there was fucking real estate moguls that died fucking helicopter skiing. Where they would just f- jump out of a helicopter onto a fucking mountain and ski down. They're shredding gnar. They shred gnar. They're digging gnar. They shredded so gnar. The gnar shredded them. The gnar. gnarly tumble, dude. The gnar Six fucking. Bill. No, the gnar crushed them. Gnar. They were gnar. two billionaire brothers. They were the <laughs> real fucking <laughs> property brothers. They're the disgusting brothers. <laughs> <laughs> they were the real property brothers. And they tried to shred. They wanted to shred gnar. And what happened? They they were like local billionaires from York, PA, and they got just swallowed up by the fucking mountain. Dude. They, <laughs> snow fucking. Some pilot had to be like. Fuck. Yeah, a pilot flying just oh no more fucking oop. helicopter skiing for me. One yeah, that the, sucks. You hear that? You almost you do laugh because you're like, what the fuck? Yeah, what are you doing? What are you the fuck are you guys doing? Go have sex with boys in Thailand. Yeah, fuck you're boys. Billionaires. Don't try to shred nar. <laughs> don't shred it's nar. time to shred butts. Dude, I've been I, I don't have the courage <laughs> to make the approach, but I'm I'm down the beach right now. And there's a place called the Bashful Banana. It's the only place I can eat at because it has all this dietary restriction stuff. Yeah. So I've been going there every day. Dude, it's, you're at the boardwalk in Ocean City. It's just teenagers working at every store. It's the worst service. They're so fluid. One guy, I was at a taco place, and one guy. You got your reflect, your reflective glasses on? Oh, dude, they're fucking my reflective glasses. Dude, but we're, we're sitting there. I walked in. Uh, so the first time, <laughs> we're at the taco place. I was there. It's me, my mother-in-law. We have our kids and like. Or my kids, not her. We didn't have kids together. That'd be weird. But we have, we're like, we're walking. I mean, technically. Yeah. That'd be gnar. 
Genetically, they're pretty similar, but you tread gnar. That would be gnar, dude. That'd be totally gnar. I, do, I actually do have thoughts about that, but I'll keep this right. But <laughs> <laughs> holy shit! I'm just saying. The wild, wild west. Okay, fine, Sean. We'll start hell, whenever man? you want. <laughs> the old Hollywood Don't market. fucking roll your eyes at me either. <laughs> holy crap! Do we need to clap over here? No, we, no, this isn't Stuff Island, dude. We don't. I don't clap on Stuff Island. Well, then why would you even assume that? I don't know. I was just thinking about the audio. I'm just thinking about this. <laughs> Jesus. <Christ>. <laughs> <laughs> no, he synced it up. He, that's why he did the clap right near okay. the camera's microphone, if I'm not mistaken. Right, Sean? Sean oh, knows right. what he's doing, Sink even though he does get a little sassy and rolls fucking eyes at me. He, that was great. That was like, all right, guys, hurry the fuck up. Let's yeah, go. yeah, yeah. He's enough of the small talk. Let's go. I got a, I got, a, I got business. T- I got business <laughs> tonight. You got business to stand on. It's oh gonna be- God, no, he's coughing. <laughs> I got the mees. I got mees and Sean tonight, dude. At the oh, at the at the ship. starship at the Madre. The motherfucking ship. The motherfucking Madre. Chris, you gonna be around? Yeah. We just lost a fucking soldier on the field, dude. <laughs> you want more to step up? <laughs> wait, wait, Who'd you lose? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I need to take yeah, it easy. I need yeah. to watch some college football national title. No, you need to chill. You for real need If to I go chill. out, if I go out and do stand up, and then and then watch the college football national title in public, I'm going to be drinking. Yeah, please, just chill. I'm going to yeah. need brewskis at a bar to watch the college no. football <laughs> national title. I took many. It sounds like a bre- fucking good night. <laughs> it does sound like a good. <laughs> I night. took many nights off. Do last stand week up and then chilling. yeah, you need nights off. You do, man. I'm trying to. I'm trying to like not be working in a sleep deficit. I've been working in one now for three years and like. Every time I'm like, all right, I'm going like, to like, work on my sleep. So I was like, do you want to do like a 10.55 spot? I'm like, yeah. Yeah, you have to. I'm like, I have you to. You have it. to do it. <laughs> I know. But you can you can catch up a couple nights off. Oh, yeah. Two, three. I know you're. it's a great, great deficit that you're under. But I'm under a massive deficit. Yeah, yeah. But I swear to God, you get one good day of sleep. I feel like it's, that's bullshit. When they're like, you never make up your sleep debt. It's like, dude, if I get one solid night of sleep, I feel fine. That's That's it. I'll get tonight. Yeah, that's all you need. Oh, I can't wait to snuggle up and watch my beautiful Washington Huskies defeat the <laughs> Michigan's gonna fuck them up and I'm gonna look I'm gonna look like a horse's ass. You're just gonna run the ball on them all day, right? Probably. They gotta stop Michael Penix. Really? Michael Penis Jr. <laughs> Michael Penix Jr. <laughs> Penix Jr. is so good. Is he really? Yeah. How do you spell his last name? P E N I X. That's so tight, dude. It's a, yeah. Penix. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. It's the non gendered penis. True. It's a penix. It's my penix. I should have named him it's a good Richard. Point. Richard Dick Penis. Yeah, yeah. Dick <laughs> Richard Dick Penis. Old Dicky Penis slinging the rock. <laughs> Dick <laughs> Penis. The penix that rose from the ashes. That would be. <laughs> it's funny because he he's been in he's been in college football for a while. He was at Indiana. Right? He was at Indiana first. Really? I'm pretty sure Cumtown got a hold of it first. Penix. I think Cumtown found out about Michael Penix a while <laughs> did, ago. Did they really? Yeah. So, I was I was delighted to find out. That they so if knew. he changed his last name, technically he'd be chopping off his penix. <laughs> <laughs> Just go with a first name. Yes, <laughs> chopping off the penix. He'd be trans. True. I wasn't even thinking about that. Have you seen a trans penis? What they look like? No. They're fucked up. Which are you talking about? Like <laughs> yeah. a girl who gets a dong? A girl who gets Dude, a dong. Dude, I've heard they cut a big sheet of thigh out. I heard they're pigging though on the side. They're pigging. They're it getting... looks like a butt plug. It looks like a fucking girthy, what vein, veinless, veinless mm. too? Yeah, somebody sent me one. I, I'm not saying it's all for sure female cocks. Yeah, but this particular female cock looks like you don't want to sound ridiculous. I don't want to sound fucking rude, but <laughs> some of these chicks with cocks, their cocks are fucked up. Well, the dudes, the dudes are cocks. The chicks, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Dudes are cocks. These dudes with these. Let's let's yeah. Fully natural cocks. Let's get with the times. Totally it's, reasonable natural these dudes, cocks. These dudes, these dudes with cocks, <laughs> not the chicks with penises. F- do you think they go? M- do you think they try to find people who penis. are good at like veins, Ooh, adding the vein? You know what I mean? Yeah, I know trouble. what you mean. Like a master marbleizer. Like. <laughs> Did you find one? Did you find one? <laughs> like someone who can add like wood grain to like I a found fake yeah, yeah. inside out. That's some texture. Yo. That's actually one of the better ones I've seen. Decent. Yo, straight up. So scary. Does it go soft? Yeah. I think it's always soft. Uh, it's soft. always ready. No, they it's always on soft. <laughs> they probably have a pump. Man. <laughs> what the Why? fuck? What the fuck, dude? They got to work on this technology. They do, man. <laughs> yeah. It's a flesh rat. Like, uh, I'd go bigger, bro. Ooh, this guy got a good one. Let me say. This guy got, got a nice one. It's a rest. Ooh, that's soft. That's dude. a rest and nice soft Come hog. On now. So nice when your soft hog lays down gently like bro, that. Bro, fucking... sticks up straight in the air like a tiny fucking I, I, What's The erection's a pump, isn't it? Isn't one of your nuts a fucking so. pumper? 
These guys are hogging a little. I mean, dude, let's start small, bro. Yeah, like a salary cap. Smart. They should start little boy, and you get more more dong size as you complete challenges. <laughs> It's tough to look away when you start searching this. <laughs> Let me see. Let me get some more. What would the I challenges more. Once you pop, you can't stop. I, want to I see need more some more of these things. Same prosthetic dongs, dude. <laughs> That's literally what I look like in the shower. <laughs> That's exactly what it looks like. <laughs> A completely different color. Fuck. <laughs> Loses circulation. Fuck. Starts freezing uh, off. Oh, what my you got? Fuck. <laughs> Yo, there we go, dude. That's, That's nice. When Hell you, oh no. You do have to be willing to take a vicious scar on your thigh, but it's worth it, dude. Cut me right now. I would now. say take the whole thigh off. Yeah, it's your, oh, it's your your thigh becomes your dog. Why not just yeah. go strap on? The nah. strap on is because they want a penis. They want to yeah, feel like, like it's above ground pool versus in ground pool. Why not just put all your pools above ground, dude? <laughs> yeah, you want some little flash. You want, you want, flash. You want something natural. <laughs> yeah, but dude. can can they feel it? There's no way. There's like nerves in their fake penis. Why don't I you don't go know. find out? <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> you have to suck one and report back. Why don't you suck one and see if he wakes up. <laughs> yeah. That By would the way, suck jerking off a fake dick. They can't feel anything. What's I the feel point? Feel like that'd be so risky. Yeah, if it tears. What? Yeah, just fucking even banging with one of those things. They're going to find yeah, Well, they're about to fuck around and find out what they're about real. to get. Especially if those dudes. <laughs> get a hand job from a lady? Yeah. Especially if they're <laughs> dosed up as on all that tea and shit. Yeah. There's no way those guys are holding back on that. Cert- if they're like, you can't masturbate for three months. It's like, bro, I just got this thing. I'm going to take it for a spin. True. <laughs> I'm going to ride it around the block a couple times. Yeah, true. That'd be tough. I mean, yeah, because I'm like. And you're jacked up on all these fucking. You know, you're teed up. You're teed up. You're gonna catch. They're gonna catch a bad HJ though. That's the thing. They have no idea. They don't know what women are truly capable of. Like crazy performance. Just, just not even moving it. your hand. Just yeah. squeezing the face. <laughs> Sometimes just, that's nice. Yeah, like a good squeeze. <laughs> <laughs> or you, you get, get pumped up. I'll take yeah. a good squeeze. Get one of those like dastardly like, yeah. women who just tries to like jerk your tip off. And you're like, what? Are you, what are you doing, man? Yeah. <laughs> You gotta start. You gotta get to the root, bro. And where, where did the hell? I need yeah, the start root. the pump. You it's like the side the... of the lawnmower. You gotta like the prime. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's the Goldilocks zone. The Goldilocks zone is gripping the shaft with just like right, just just tickling it. It's just right. It's just right. <laughs> yeah, the, I was trying to figure out the Goldilocks. Yeah, the Goldilocks is just <laughs> yeah, like, right. This one's just right. Can't have all. If you try, if someone tries to jerk all shafts, you're like, bro. There's the door. Yeah. <laughs> Don't, are you crazy? What, do you, what world do you live in? And also, how yeah. much movement are we getting if you're only jacking off my <laughs> exactly, shaft? It's yeah. literally. It's <laughs> shake weight. That's not the part that feels good. Then it's like, all right, I'll do all head then. It's like, what are you, fucking crazy? Yeah, it can't be just split head. I'm going to need you some. The baby. You need to fucking yeah. yank it and then shove it back in your mouth. You got to split the baby, dude. <laughs> I know. I mean, dude. We're off to a flying start. Yeah. I taught, I taught my babe. That's nice. You I must, like, I especially after everything. you guys have made a covenant with God that you're going to exactly. stay together. Yeah, you got to make sure that she knows how to pleasure you. I mean, bro, you would have thought I cloned myself. <laughs> you would have thought I cloned myself. Dude. Perfect hand job. I just fucking sit back. <laughs> it's weird science. You created her. <laughs> it's, it's weird you science. Created the perfect hand job. <laughs> you go, this is how I do it. Can she get you quick like you can, bro? She can. She can get you. Rifle me off. Yeah. It's perfect. That's pretty absolutely great. perfect. That's I made nice. her. I made her, dude. You molded her. I fucking made She's her. She's your rib. <laughs> <laughs> I made her. Yeah, it's it's such a delight. That is one of the true joys of my life that I can catch Wife like hand job, serviceable nice hand job, like yeah. serviceable ones too. Not some like faking it. Like, oh yeah, that's cool. Yeah, like you into know? it. Licking I'm, I'm like, I would. I wouldn't mind if she wasn't that into it. You know, like a kind of that service, like kind yeah, of. Sort of I, I need you. to take care of you. I get you. Like Utility. I'll get this out of you. I don't feel like doing this, but you need to come. Oh, dude, yeah, it's, that's awesome. I thought you meant you'd like it if they were a little awkward and close. No, no, no. I like it. It's a different fetish. I like that extract. We need to extract this yeah. quickly. Oh yeah, no, it's nice. You man. like that? I love it. Yeah. All business, dude. Yeah, and all business hand job. I try to f- search for that if I'm ever looking for porn. It's easy I try to find. to find someone who's like I'm not sterile. hard to find. <laughs> it's easy to find, bro. What do you say? I can't. Sterile environment hand job. Nurse. Disinterested. Yeah, Stepmom nurse. catches you jacking off one of those. Yeah, those Looks are like nice. You just have to come and then yeah. I'll leave. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, my God. You go, Oof, my don't. Eh? My don't. Yeah, that's. <laughs> and you get wrapped up in it. You start wondering if that does exist. I suggested a lady. So, like a patient's in the hospital for a cum, cum release. You guys ever hear about free use? 
What? Yes, yeah. I have recently. <laughs> yeah. I stumbled upon free use recently. Yeah. What's that? Boy, oh boy. Yeah. Does that tickle my fancy? <laughs> what is Holy it? What shit, is it? dude. It's where they're just... Son, nice. son yeah. free use's stepdaughter in front of mother. Ooh. Wait, what? Mom's doing, they're, but mom and daughter are doing the dishes. The son just gets free reign. He can fuck the daughter whenever he wants. <laughs> he gets and to they, fuck her, and she acts like he's not even fucking yeah, her. Yeah, she's she like doing about the dishes business. and stuff. Yeah. And was, what's the mom doing? Is the mom They even? pretend nothing's happening. What? Yeah, they talk to each other while he's fucking her. Is she? Is Sean, that like, don't make that fucking face, dude. You're gonna love it. You're gonna come, and as soon as you come, you're gonna go. Shane was right. I was oh, thinking yeah. you were right. I was just thinking of it. No, I just want you to think about me when you. Does her it. voice quiver as she's talking to her mom? Oh yeah, <sighs> that's yeah. good acting. Yeah, that'll get you, man. <laughs> that'll get you. There's a lots of types of free use on Reddit. There's a whole subreddit called free use, and it's just people like playing video games and just like laying down reading books. Yeah, I never got into the video game one Free for some use. reason. Yeah, but a, the lady playing the video game and laying flat on her tummy and a guy crawls in and fucks her. Yeah. That's fun, especially if somebody else is playing her in the video game. That's what we do when we play Madden. <laughs> 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 I lay the mare right on this floor. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I got I got in. <laughs> that's, that is a, that's a particular demon of mine. If it's like... I got in the thing of women wearing vibrating panties and having to try to read, and it's just like they try to start pronouncing yeah. words, and it's just like Geez. it hit me a long time ago when I was a very, very young man. I found a video of a Chinese or a yeah. Japanese lady trying to read the news, yeah, and guys kept walking on the desk and jizzing on her face. Oh, so that's like yeah. an or ancient coming one in for you. and fucking her. Yeah, this was an old one. That's one of your sexual infinity really, stones. I was really ashamed of it. <laughs> yeah. For real, I mean, it was like Japanese bukkake porn, and I was True. pretty young. True, yeah. But they would fuck her while she was trying to read the news. That was great. That's awesome. But now it's come around to it's not like that weird. Oh, now it's nothing. Yeah, that's fucking. Now it's perfectly acceptable. Guys would kill to have that. I don't know. I still fucking... feel weird. I I, saw, I stumbled on that relatively recently. The news one. The news one. The video yeah, still bringing that up. Yeah, yeah. I went back to the. <laughs> Did it news. look old? Uh, no. It's they're, like it's new. new. They're making yeah, new yeah, ones. They're making new ones, and I. Where are we felt... at time wise on this one? <laughs> 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 I felt it all bad. They're making new ones. <laughs> we could do like an Adam Twenty Two thing where like we all we just bring all the guests. We bring all the guests and we fuck them. <laughs> me and Matt. We all, we all just talk about yeah. a board, beat off to it, and come back and talk about Matt it. Matt Twenty Two. Me and Matt. <laughs> have a th- we have a threesome with whoever our guest is. <laughs> so. You can have Club Shane Shane. I'll have Matt Twenty Two. Matt Twenty Two. <laughs> That'd be so funny. Start having three ways with <laughs> fucking O'Connor. Be a hit. It would be a hit, dude. The I would like to see. You. Yeah, oh, I would split you open, dude. What? <laughs> the hell are you, you got a nice rump, dude. I'd be in there. True. Yeah, you feel like bad. You feel bad enjoying it. You feel bad enjoying it. It's the free it. use hotel, dude. I'd be full truffle pig in that ass. Just <laughs> <laughs> you go. You'd be up there going, <sighs> yeah. <laughs> of course. What? <laughs> in what world? <laughs> of course, I come on and do the podcast. And I get and fucked. I get my ass eaten. <laughs> of course. It's exactly what I didn't want to happen. <laughs> Shane, would you stop sucking my, my nipples? <laughs> I would make you confess that the Dems are the, the devil. I would say you better say it, say it. Yeah. And you go, yes, Daddy, the Dems are the devil. <laughs> you'd, be, you'd be edging me. I, I, I would get, edge I'd you. Get I'd close. say, I'm not going to suck your dick until and you I go, admit. don't stop. Don't stop. <laughs> admit the Dems are bad. Admit the Dems are bad. I would make you admit the Dems are bad. Yeah. Otherwise, I would not let you re- reach climax. <laughs> Say Jan 6 wasn't that scary. Jan 6 was not that scary, dude. I've abandoned my child. I've now, abandoned my boy. You did. I remember because yeah. me and Chris were together during Jan 6. We watched it. And Chris did. I did notice you were getting a little emotional during Jan 6. During Jan 6? I saw you. It was one of those like where you're watching movies, someone you can tell they're crying and they're trying to do it. <laughs> me and Chris were on the couch during Jan 6 and I saw him like, I think I might, I think I saw my, him like fake like. <sighs> yeah, yeah, our nation's capital. True, being invaded. No, I feel like I, I, I think I genuinely went. Oh, great! Yeah. <laughs> I think that was like my genuine. I think that reaction. was kind of everyone's reaction. Oh was like, God. what the fuck? I thought everyone was going, look at these weirdos, and that was yeah. that was about it. Yeah, 
It was. <laughs> it was kind of funny, dude. It was so funny. Of course. They were falling off the walls it's and crazy. shit. <laughs> it was so funny. The dude had the Viking hat. That, that whole, like, <sighs> that time period of those guys, like those, like, right wing dudes with, like, Captain mm. America shields. Yeah. I'll be honest, it got me. When they were Captain, Ameri- Captain America shield, like, sucker punching some fucking Antifa guy. <laughs> I was like, yeah. Well, dude, the day was <laughs> so <laughs> the day was so fucking insane because it was like one piece of news would be like they're terrified in there, they could die, yeah. and then the other like a picture would leak out of the like a dude taking a shit on a desk or something. <laughs> <laughs> you just be like, what the hell is yeah, happening? Yeah, what are they doing? <laughs> are people's lives at stake or are they just having a good well, time? Well, the worst is when they released that footage. I don't, I don't know how much of that whole ordeal this was, but it was just like guys just like walking slowly, like a museum almost, just like yeah. walking through and like yeah. picking stuff up. And then once they, like, they, on, show the, they show yeah. the QAnon shaman in the yeah. in the thing and he says a prayer from the yeah. balcony or whatever. Yeah. And the cop's like, dude, can you please leave? He's like, hold on, I want to say one prayer. It's like, all right, go ahead, but you got to fucking get out of here. Can you please get out of He's here? He's like, all right, I will. I'm just going to say just a prayer. Then he stole the podium and walked out. <laughs> what a fucking... He must have been having so much fun that day. Yeah, oh, I mean, dude, God. it's... God, it yeah. was worth the fucking eight years in solitary confinement or was <laughs> Yeah, in Guantanamo. Is that what he got? I don't know what he got. I think he's out. He's out. The boy's out. I think he got out because the tape was too damning. It was, it was like, dude, that's not at all what they said. Yeah, happened. you can't be in solitary. But I think that. other guys are in there forever. Other guys. Are, Biden was just bragging about it in yeah. that speech. He was like, over 900 years of jails. <laughs> <laughs> we did it. And they all clapped. <laughs> they loved it. They loved that part. Lock them up. Damn. Yeah, they love that shit. I wonder how those guys are treated in prison. Probably pretty good. Right? I don't know. They're probably like a lot. They're of them. probably a cool core of. I'm Gen sure they found guys. a certain group that took them in. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there was a. I would some think the guards fans. would be on their side. I'm sure the whole gang's on their side. Yeah. <laughs> I could, I could see like criminal, even like black dudes being like, "Yo, fuck the capital, hell yeah, yeah, yeah." It'd be interesting if they were very patriotic though. You fucking disrespected the flag. That would, yeah, true. All right. Also, too, know what I know what I can give us too. The magic flute. Mozart's magic flute. Dude, I wish I liked this stuff. <laughs> I wish I fucking liked this stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I tried to like that so hard in high school. Dude, dude. Imagine just sitting very quietly in like a very like ornate wooden room. And you've got like very like thin wireframe glasses and you're just very like diligently cleaning something while that plays in the background and just living that way every day for the rest of your life. <sighs> Man. Damn, dude. I wish. Man. I tried. I tried to have classical music playing when I was training for track. Like really? My, when I was in my room doing all my calisthenics yeah. and shit. Yeah. I tried to have classical music playing, and you just never got into it. Never. No. Never. You just wanted something cool to tell the local news when they showed up at like the state championships. <laughs> like, yeah, he actually he prepares with classical music. It's this weird thing he does. <laughs> yeah. Just like this shit sucks. This is so boring. <laughs> yeah. It just made me hate push-ups. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, it, yeah. It sucked. Yeah. Classical music is like black and white movies. It's just like bo- this is boring. It doesn't matter how good it is. It's like, boring, dude. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they also, they didn't have anything else to listen to. So right. it was like, you know, it's like, I, I would try to listen to classical music, and then I'd be like, eh, let me see what's up with DMX. <laughs> like, this is fucking pretty nice, too. <laughs> yeah, man. He's dead, right? DMX? Dark yeah. Man X is dead. Yeah. Is he? Yeah, he's dead, dude. I don't he follow, uh, he died. Gossip. He, uh, you know. <laughs> you don't follow DMX's news? I don't follow gossip, dude. Yeah. <laughs> you said that's gossip? It's gossip. He had a, he had a rough dude, that's, dude, that's a, it's, it's DMX's business whether he's alive or dead, bro. <laughs> I can't even absorb a fact about another man. <laughs> that is a good respect for his business. That is. Dude. Don't be, yeah. Keep He'd his, appreciate keep his name out your mouth, though. True, yeah. <laughs> dude, DMX, live or dead, his, his business, dude. That has nothing to do with me. That's true. <laughs> That's a fair point, dude. That's yeah. the that's the ultimate respect for one's business. Not even acknowledging that they died because you refuse to gossip about them. Yes, but that's none of my business. Dude. That, like you know, he died. That's none of my business. That's, that's, nothing to that's none pause. of my business. Yeah, pause. <laughs> yeah. put a pause, pause. on him. It'd be nice. Yeah, pause. Yeah, it's definitely <laughs> sus to know when a guy dies. <laughs> Why are you telling me? this? you think I'm gay? Yeah. What are you gay, dude? <laughs> Get a job. <laughs> yeah, I want to hold. I want to hold that up to the utmost. I, I mean, how how far do you think you can take that? I'm trying to live it every day. I was talking to someone about it recently. I'm sure it was on a recording somewhere, but it was just like, 
I don't even know what like names that are attached to fellas. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah. Like you tell me anything about a fella. I'm just like, what's that guy all about? It's not for me, you know? Yeah. What do you think? I sleep with him? How would I know? Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) You think I wake up next to him? Yeah. I've never even heard of guys. Yeah. Like knowing what a dude's favorite food is. It's like, how? I have no idea what you guys like to eat. I want to keep it that way. Yeah. Like, dude, you should find the part of your brain that holds that information and jam a soldering iron into it. (laughs) (laughs) The less you know about anyone else, the better you are. For sure. That's the ideal. Just a total island into yourself. Yeah, every new fact you learn about another man, you descend further toward just being a useless gay bird. <laughs> <laughs> so I try not to absorb. Even I'll, I'll hear it sometimes. I'm not along, but it's, I'm not absorbing any of it, man. It's like classical music for me. Do you, you know? think? Do you think? Do you think when you trans, you just all of a sudden, like when you wake up from the surgery, you're like, no, everyone's business. <laughs> oh my god. Oh yeah, it's like when coma people wake up and they can talk Chinese or whatever. You wake up, you're just like, DMX is dead. <laughs> oh my god. The, the, once the estrogen hits your system, dude, you can't help but learn about other people. <laughs> that is the ideal. Yeah. You yeah. don't know anything about We call anyone. that top surgery. Up top surgery, dude. <laughs> Learning about other people. Yeah. It yeah, changes you your brain chemistry. You don't want to know, know anything about anyone. And then you just want to have very surface level relationships just to get physical needs met. And that's it. Anything <laughs> other than that is <laughs> hell. Yeah. Or girls you know I mean? or funny fellers, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Funny fellers. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Actually, uh, when's Yeah, dude, keep, month, keep yeah. your name out my mouth. Yo, you know what I'm saying? Real, dude. <laughs> keep, yeah, dude. <laughs> keep your name out my brain. <laughs> Damn. I'm always I'm always shocked when somebody when a guy knows another guy's eye color. Yeah, that's it's upsetting. Like, what the? I didn't even fuck? know you even knew dudes knew that. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who are you hanging out with? Sid? What the fuck? I apologize. I didn't even. Leave, I, why did I bring that to the phone? I yeah. apologize. If I couldn't I, even I'm describe my friends to a police sketch things. artist. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you if my friends ever wore gay shoes one time, I can tell you that for the rest of my life. <laughs> if cops like, what's his eye color? I'm like, what the fuck are you trying to Yo, say, dude? Pause. Yeah. Yo, pause, dude. Pause. Who do you think I am? Get out of here. I don't make eye contact with dudes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. You try, you know, you try, is this a setup? <laughs> yeah. That's oh how I live. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I just once, dude, want to get the thing at the TSA where, like, if you deny the... I used to deny the scanner. Mm -hmm. I used to be like, nah. And they get so mad. They're like, dude, it's safe. And it's like, why is it banned in Europe then? (laughs) And they're just like, come on, man. You know I got to pat you down. It's like, do what you got to (laughs) do. I'm going to have them do that next time. Let's go. "Mm." (laughs) (laughs) Let's just hit, like, my leg. Be like, oh. Oh, I might pre cum my pants <laughs> and let them find it. I want to do. I want to put a load in my pants and then go through the fucking the scanner and have them be like, put a load in my pants because you're not allowed to have like. <laughs> Is that three point five ounces yeah. of cum or less? Yeah, because you're not allowed to have any liquid, so yeah. a, a load Dude. would pop up. You know how you're like you're trying to find clean piss before a drug test for work? It's like I'm flying to Taiwan next week. Does anybody got a load of cum I can throw into my trousers? <laughs> I would just jack. I would jack in the airport. Just You'd use right, yours. Okay. Right. Of, yeah, what the? Of course, dude. What the <laughs> yeah. fuck? I don't know, dude. I don't know if you want to be a pervert and Wait, jerk off at the airport. Hold up. Do yeah, other yeah, guys yeah. even come? Yeah, I don't know. know. I was <laughs> <aware of that. laughs> Do other guys even come? I don't know, dude. It's outside none of, my of this room? Outside of this room? I didn't I'm know. I'm saying, like, how would you go about doing it? I'm yeah. not saying I know that. <laughs> yeah, purchase, purchase third party come. <sighs> Man. <laughs> Wait, who even just said that? <laughs> oh, the only straight guys are blind. Dude. <laughs> dude, the straighter you are, the more towards Helen Keller you get. Yeah. <laughs> I had one uncle who was so straight he couldn't even hear men. <laughs> that is as straight as you can get. It's fucking. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you have a woman to just interpret the world for you and describe it to you everywhere you go. And then everything she says, you're like, that's fucking bull. <laughs> Shit! Shut the fuck up. It's wrong. Yeah, man. I was uh, I was at the dentist the other day, and I was like cracking up at the idea of my dental hygienist pulling the prank of just putting her tit in my mouth. Oh, Jesus! 
<laughs> Man, she really get your ass if she did that. <laughs> like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I mean, but if women, if women pulled pranks, that would be a hilarious prank to pull. Tit pranks? Yeah. That'd be fucked up. Dude, <laughs> dude they'd have like it's four <laughs> seconds to explain it wasn't a prank before they get fingered, though. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> dude. <laughs> like, tit no, 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 I'm good. I'm, like, no. I'm, I'm kidding, too. I'm kidding, too. Yeah. <laughs> they would just be like, oh, it's on. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, tit pranks are behind all that hullabaloo about consent. You know what I mean? Yeah, but you got—I mean, you got to do it. Dude, you, <laughs> Wait, you, explain that. <laughs> just like the second that you're like even suggest oh, yeah, okay. that pussy is on the table for a dude, it's like sex crime or consent are the only two options. <laughs> yeah, I would like to believe that I am the type of gentleman that could handle a tit prank. Like we all like pop, to think that. If you thing, pop yeah. the tit in my mouth, I'd be like, "All right, you got me." I, I would like to believe that I'm that guy. You'd ask her to show you again so that you can see how the trick works. Like, like a magician. <laughs> I don't know. I think I suffer from a bad case of like, oh, that's what's up? Oh. <laughs> 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 yeah. Roast scrubs. That's draw- my, I think I would instinctively, I would, without even looking, hit the drawstring on the scrubs. And <laughs> just, <whoosh. laughs> Man, do you think there's anything more defeating than just like the 500th time you're taking your chubby girlfriend's scrubs top off? (laughs) Is anything hotter than that? (laughs) No. Anything more just like... There's nothing hotter than disrobing a chubby girl at all. Yeah. I'm also, I'm a uniform head. I'm a big uniform head. Do scrubs work or... Scrubs will get me. Because they're they're like... They're like uniform 1.0. I was wondering if like does an ornate uniform do more for you? A peep, like a PPA uniform? <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 Yes. Something with like a badge, but they're not a cop. U.S. Postal Service? Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah once a girl steps off a Segway at the mall and, sh- <laughs> and shifts a very heavy belt, I'm like, damn, babe, can we get out of here? <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, dude, I used to have a thing for PPA ladies and the male Whoa. ladies. I, I can't. I just I love so many male ladies right now. It's hard to even keep. Well, we I think we talked about this a couple of years ago, but yeah. they they hired a bunch of very hot black male ladies. Yeah. A couple like maybe like five, ten years ago, bro. It's ridiculous. Yeah, that was a great call. I, I, I think the original point we made was that uh, garbage men should do that next. They should get like very loud, hot black ladies to be tossing your garbage around. <laughs> they're just they're dancing working. down the street, following the truck, making TikToks. That'd be sick. I've seen a few. <laughs> yeah, but a, a lot of the, a lot of the hot black male ladies ain't about all that foolishness. That's, that's the true. best part. Yo, they're yeah. all business, dude. Yeah, that's they're a all the business. Yo, that's what I'm saying. Business. So you'd have to get the wild ones to handle the trash. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you got a bunch of National Honor Society black chicks. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's bad girl. That's bad girls club, dude. Mm. Yeah. Because fucking upperly motivated black chicks, dog. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm waiting. I have. I've seen one black trash lady in the city of Philadelphia, and I like which I've seen her work. I like it. But she's just <laughs> constantly going these nasty motherfuckers. <laughs> Every she's, bag she she's not as graceful as my beautiful <laughs> postal workers. She's not yeah. as. Gra- she's definitely. She can toss a bag. Her purpose built. Yeah, she's yeah, purpose yeah, built. Yeah, 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 she's built for tough. <laughs> <laughs> So I don't know. That'd she's be tough. a sturdy woman, is what you're saying. She's, she's pretty sturdy. Yeah, you know, yeah. but she's pretty femme. Whoa, she's pretty femme. Not like well, I mean, black chicks stay femme mad long. True. Like uh, like as far as like stop. Like she has, she has fake nails while she's doing the trash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just Wolverine's lashes. Bag. Just like <laughs> lashes. Damn, that would be awesome to see a, uh, a black lady get like very ornate but very like useful like claws attached and just go full like Wolverine on trash. <laughs> Behind a truck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the uh, I think actually she was this. If I had to type this lady out, I would classify her as a kid rock drummer. That's <laughs> nice, <dude. laughs> nice. It has a little bit of fucking like a little bit swole, but also is somewhat feminine, I'd say. Mm-hmm. All right. Kid rock, the kid rock drummer. I feel that. I what feel a great that. reference. You know, the kid that. rock drummer is Robin from Howard Stern's niece. Is that I true? made that no. up. No, God <laughs> damn it. <laughs> you didn't even let like that sit for a I saw it. I had to Yeah, Tim immediately. Yeah. You can't deny, that, you can't deny that rumor. That's yeah. a good rumor. That was a good yeah. rumor. By the wow. way, uh, speaking of rumors, I mean, I don't even want to mention this because I don't like to know where guys are. Yeah, <laughs> obviously yeah. not. But in the tomb right now. Oh, yeah, fuck. From what I, again, I don't like to get in other guys' business. <laughs> But oh, there could be somebody in the tomb right there's now. There's two. It's John Nocalo. Welcome, John Nocalo. I know. I hey, only know. Yeah, he came in. Yeah. Let me know he when we get email. started, guys. <laughs> <laughs> John, how are you liking your tomb experience so far? I 
hope this never ends. <laughs> I'm having such a fucking good time in here. Yeah, we like to have fun here, John. <laughs> All jokes aside, John, we do like to have a fun time. Yeah, come let me pop a tit in your mouth. <laughs> well... <laughs> All right. Did you ever feel your hairdresser's uh, pussy graze your knuckles when you were a kid? <laughs> Fuck, dude. You're getting me hard. You're getting me hard. No, we had a... I uh, have a Doppler image in my brain of my hairdresser's pussy when I was a kid just because of how many times it hit my knuckles. What? <laughs> yeah. I could, draw it, I could draw it from memory just from knuckle sensation. You can... You yeah. can, <laughs> you can dare... Dude, you can she dare got me every <laughs> single... <laughs> yeah, I, have, I have a daredevil map of my hairdresser's pussy. <laughs> Yeah, I only felt tits. I never got. I never got a. Uh... Dude, it was like every time. I was like, "Oh my god, did you have to hit the back of my head from in front of me? What is? Why is there a pussy on my head? <laughs> why is there a pussy on my fat indented knuckles? Because I was a big boy. God, yo, what, what was going through your head when she was fucking putting the panini press on you? <laughs> Pure terror, man. What? Pure oh terror. God. I was like, oh my God, dude. If she finds out her pussy's on me, I'm going to get in trouble. <laughs> dude. Yeah, that's yeah. a fair. That's that's, yeah, right? that's one layer to like. We've I, I've had this too, where it's like she's gonna be. She's if she finds out her pussy's on me, she's gonna be really mad at me. That was what I thought. <laughs> I had an eighth grader one time when I was in sixth grade. I was sitting there and she laid down and put her tit right on the back of my hand, and I had a similar thought where it's like. I'm going to get in trouble for this somehow. Yeah. <laughs> but I, at a certain point, I just started going, I'm going to enjoy this, though. I'm going to enjoy this while it lasts. And I just would sit there, and I was just memory. It would just be like, this, this is cool. That's, I'm basically that's weird, feeling yeah. up right now. This rules. She was probably, it's probably a tit prank. Mm -hmm. I kind of got light, like, lightly tit pranked. Yeah. But it was like, <laughs> dude, our grade school had this weird sexual, un like, they got to do a better job at, like, making sure, like, sixth graders aren't, like, grabbing Especially now that I have kids, yeah. Yeah, yeah now, man. now that we have kids coming up through the ranks. Dude, the amount yeah. of tits over shirt that I felt in grade school, just through like weird circumstances, way too many. Uh, no, you need that. That's an important part of growing up. Like the incidental tit contact where you don't freak out and turn into a cartoon werewolf. You that's, need that. Oh, that's true. Because I, I, be, that happens, dude. You know? Yeah. Yeah, I used to get... Um, I used to... <laughs> I used to police the borders of my desk with my elbows when I sat next to girls because I was saying if they leaned any bit into my desk, I got I felt tits a couple of times. <laughs> this is like I was like this is for your own protection, man. I can't guarantee your tit safety should you cross this border. <laughs> there was a girl who used to lean like on. Man, sitting in class wearing aviators, just like, very crisp hat. Ma'am, keep, keep it moving. Keep it moving, man. I like barely remember this. There was a situation, and I think it was like seventh, sixth grade, where like I was touching tits with my elbow in grade school to the point where I started getting a little. I was a little Russia Ukraine. I started crossing the border with my elbow. I do remember at one point getting an elbow shove, like get your elbows out of here, and I was like, my bad, and I just put them right to the edge of the desk. Mm. Whoa. That's not a good thing to admit. That's mm. fucked up. It was fucked up. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. but it was one of those things where my elbows were chilling. I would get incidental tit on my arm. And How yeah. far apart, realistically, do you think your elbows two? were? I mean, dude. <laughs> Look at that, dude. Is that was, where you were going? I was yeah. maxed. I was on the edges of my desk. But yeah, I was, yeah, again, yeah. I, it, would, it all happened what, the way I remember it. was I'm sitting there minding my own business. I'm sitting in class. And all of a sudden, I go... I feel the side of a tit hit my elbow. I go, what the fuck? I'm like, is it fucking on? Is it fucking on? So that's why I kind of started sitting there waiting for another graze for a while. Yeah. And then, it, you know, again, I any, died any there. great nation has to... I would have turned into a skeleton <laughs> waiting for that next tit. <laughs> any great nation has to expand. Love school. <laughs> like all great nations, we have to expand our borders, dude. So I fucking started just kind of going out a little bit. You're a tit imperialist. I took, Ki I, took, I took Kiev. <laughs> yeah. I took yeah. Kiev and it was like, stop. I was like, all right, my bad, my bad. Wow. Yeah. You colonized boobs. I colonized, yeah. Yeah. Are you seeing this, John? Ultimate aggression. <laughs> um, no. I don't yeah. have a visual. Well, just imagine putting your elbows out as wide as you can.